Well, it's going to be what you might call a techies playground at the Rochester Institute of Technology tomorrow as the college prepares for its Imagine RIT event. Yeah, the annual festival showcases some of the amazing and really cool work done by students and staff over there. Again, some of what you're about to see is done by students. Norma Holland is at RIT getting a sneak peek at some of the innovations and exhibit exhibitions. This festival gets together uh, just some of the greatest minds here at RIT and sh to show off their creativity, which is what this festival is all about. It's Saturday from 10 to 5. It's all day rain or shine. And we've been showing you some of the things you're going to see. This is really cool. Callie Babbitt joins us now. Um, Callie, how are you? Great. Thank you. Your exhibit um, is is about sustainability. That's right. Uh, how to make eco-friendly products. And people are going to get a chance to see the see what you do and then walk away with a recipe book of their own. That's right. Sustainability is about people, prosperity, and the planet. And that's exactly what we're doing here. How to save money, be more friendly to the environment, and have a lot of fun with your family by doing things in your home instead of buying them at a store. Okay. One of the things I love, and this is so fun if you've got kids, um, is this uh, face painting idea, which um, you're doing actually right now using, of all things, and I would have never thought this, uh, Crisco right? Which you find in any supermarket or you have it already in your pantry. If there's a little bit left at home, you certainly can use that. Uh, some in, uh, some green uh, food coloring and a little bit of cornstarch and it goes on easy, wipes off easy, easy to clean, easy to do and a lot of fun for the family. And the kids love it. So you oh, use, yes, of course. it's a pretty simple recipe, which is really kind of sure fun. Yep. Cornstarch coloring, food coloring, and then the actual Crisco itself. That's right. And our recipe books will have the exact formula to mix up in your own home. I love that. And the kids really seem to like it. <laughs> they look like they're having fun, right? We've cool. got a tiger paw and a cupcake in well, progress. I think those are fine things to paint. <laughs> uh, the cupcake especially, especially yeah. when you're hungry in Looks the morning. Um, this is a really cool idea. Callie, if you can come over here and explain this one for us. Um, this is, okay, now you know when you've have kids you all the crayon pieces that you have left behind and you know you may tend to throw them out don't throw them out you can still use them right what's your name my name is Aaron Ryan okay Aaron and what do you do with these cast off uh, tiny pieces of crayon well what we do is we break them off into pieces you can shave them or even big chunks whatever you have and you stick them in a really fun mold this is uh, a little person or a teddy bear and you put in the oven on 250 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes and once it all melts you take it out of the oven and you let it cool and you've got these awesome crayons are even here, more here, fun here, than the original come. ones here here too. let's yeah, you pop like this. they just pop right out yeah. I love that a great way to use what you have lying around because a lot of times you do get these little pieces and you just kind of toss them and you can make your own fun designs I it. And the kids can do it. And you've got the recipe again. Yeah. You're, you're giving away the recipe to people who are, will be watching. This is um, this last exhibit here is eco uh, cleaning products, which we hear so much about. Um, what's your name, sir? Mark Christofek. Okay, Mark. What are you showing us here? So these are uh, you basically start with a base of water, and you mix a teaspoon of uh, baking soda and some soap, and then you can add some. Uh, scents, some orange or lavender. Essential oils to give it a nice scent. Right, and then tea tree as a disinfectant, tea tree oil. Uh -huh. And then How does uh, it work? Exactly. So you, you have some stains on there. You've got chocolate, grease, right? Coffee stains, yep. And you just wipe it off. And you can make it yourself. With, so look at that. It really does. Yeah. Look at that. It really does clean. It leaves a nice scent. Oh, it well. does smell nice. Wow, that smells a lot better than the stuff I have at home. Right. And you can make it for a fraction of the cost too. Exactly. Yeah. And you know what's in it. It's all. It's very friendly. Sure. Your kids won't get sick if they're exactly. around it, which is exactly. nice. Um, all of these are going to be uh, presented on Saturday, and people will get a chance to walk away with a little recipe booklet too. But that's what this festival is all about showing the community what is being done here, the ideas. These are big ideas, but brought down to a level people can understand. That's right. And we'll be there all day in the green zone. In addition to these exhibits, we'll also be showing how to make biodiesel out of waste cooking oil. They'll actually be melting these crayons using a solar cooker. So there's a lot of green technology that's going to be demonstrated in the green zone. I'm very excited. It. Imagine RIT, Saturday, 10 to 5. Back to you.